Hello, everybody. I am a little late to the game today, but I am here. And I wanted to um, talk about whether you believe being an empath is a curse or a blessing. Okay. And so I've heard it tons of times from uh, people who are empaths who um, are not evolved empaths or who have not been working on themselves. And they often say that being an empath is like being a cur being cursed because we are such energy um, absorbers. Okay. And, you know, and it's like, if this is new to you and you don't actually know if you're an empath or not, this whole series is to find out if you are one and what you can do about it. Cause it's pretty awesome. It's really awesome if you know what to do with it, okay? And so there are lots of empath challenges. This is going to be a short and sweet live today. Um, and like there are challenges that everybody faces, but being an empath, it's, it's, um, it's a lot deeper and a lot more challenging, okay? And I want you to know that you are not alone. Okay, because you got a pod of people, a lot of them here in this group who are also empaths. So if you're an empath and you know this and you are watching this, drop it below for either the new members or those who may be wondering if they are one. Okay, so here are some challenges that we face. We get overstimulated a lot. To shut off my little space heater because it's cold here today. Um, we feel things intensely, okay? Um, we also tend to absorb the feelings and the energy and the stress and the negativities, negativity of others really, really uh, deeply. <clears throat> um, we get emotional hangovers. Like, can I get like a thumbs up or a heart or something on that? Because that is me for sure. I actually just spent the weekend away. It was amazing. They were with like, we're, we were with friends that are like family. And, um, and there was eight of us, like including kids and dogs and all that kind of stuff. Well, 10 if you're including dogs, but like, I was so happy to be there. And I'm like, I'm so excited to be here by myself in my house with no one around. So, so we are these absorbers and we could easily get um, emotional hangovers, right? Like, so also another good example of this is like early on in my grief, right? Where I was just like crying and I like, you know, was crawling around in a cave, right? I was like, I would have these huge outbursts that were horrendous and also majorly healing but then there were these effects afterwards where you're just like I was like oh my god I'm so drained it was literally like an emotional hangover so like if you feel drained after like some huge emotional upheaval know that that is very very common for um an empath the other thing is you are likely an HSP, which is a highly sensitive person so it's not just that you are feeling all the feels you are highly sensitive to all of that like so all of it so like for example i have to wear comfortable clothes all of the time if there is one little thing that is uncomfortable on my body it like throws me off like nobody's business i'm like if you know me and you're a friend of mine i am like in like sneakers or birkenstocks and if i have to get dressed dressed up you sure as hell know that it's gonna be some fucking comfortable um but that's also like you're also sensitive to all of your senses so like sounds are um are, are you're extra sensitive to or smells or um bright lights or like i mean fluorescent lights like are you kidding me like when i walked worked in an office i was like how do people do this this is like torture um also just like taste touch all of it like um and also temperature like <laughs> like i said i have my little space heater because it's only like 60 degrees here in seattle and i'm freezing and when i'm hot i'm like super hot like and so <laughs> we're kind of a really special bunch um and when you learn to work with your gifts you know we're pretty awesome and and the people who love us 
also get it and um and that's good too so um another thing is uh we get emotionally burnt out so we need to take extra 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 care of ourselves and our souls like we talk about self-care until the cows come home but it is like i said earlier like i was in a house with eight people and two dogs since friday morning and now i'm alone in my house and i'm like i cannot wait to just be in my little cave and tend to myself so that i don't get burnt out because we are extra sensory um and a lot of times we often feel really lonely and really alone because we feel so deeply that oftentimes we feel like not every not everybody understands us to the depths the depths that we can go <laughs> so like i'm an empath and a double scorpio so i'm fucking i could go deep into the dark crevices <laughs> of life. Luckily, I have a Leo rising, which is kind of like what I present to the outside world. But anyway, um, so when it comes to like our physical health, like we are, because we are these energy sponges, we're more susceptible to things like adrenal fatigue or chronic fatigue or um, any sort of autoimmune disorders. We're also more prone and we're prone to these things. This does not mean that this is going to happen, but like we do have a higher tendency to be depressed and more anxious and have panic attacks and um, have like seasonal um, depression because we feel so deeply. So what do you do about it? We have to have a soul care regimen. I don't care. Meditate, walk around the block, put yourself in a cave, bundle up under the covers, but we have to, it's almost like we have to learn how to de-stimulate ourselves. And so like, is it going out in nature? Is it digging in a garden? Is it, you know, it's also getting enough sleep and drinking plenty of water. Like all of these things like optimize our energy field and give us an overall healthier, more balanced, um, energy field. So, you know, and also set some major boundaries. Like we are like boundary, we need to like have some major bound boundaries in life, but I'm going to talk about that in another live. So anyway, I wanted to come on here cause it's Monday and I wanted to, you know, I do my Monday lives. Um, and now I'm going to sign off and I'm going to get back in my hole for the rest of the day. Okay. Mwah. Bye. I love you. And I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, and next Monday I'm not here because I'm going to be traveling again. So I'm going to do my live on Tuesday. Okay, bye.